And we are YouTube Live. It seems dark out today, right? A little cloudy. Okay. okay. So let's start out. Grab your pads. Put those next to your mat. And we're going to start a little different. We are going to stay as focused on upper body as we were last week, but we are going to do um, some upper body to start and try to get you to feel those muscles again. You're going to start with your blue blocks like this. And anybody at home, if you haven't had them done on these tapes, these are hugger mugger blocks. They're a little bit bigger, but you could use something else. You could use regular blocks or shoe rocks or even coffee table. So we're going to start out with your knees as wide as the mat. Start on the timer. Okay, start out with your knees as wide as your mat. You're going to start with your forearms on the blocks. Okay, why are we on blocks instead of straight down on the mat? I want your upper body level with your hips. If you're at home and you're on a coffee table, I don't even care if your upper body is a little higher. Okay, and if you want, you can take your blocks to the second level. I would suggest that you do that. Or you can put your cork blocks on top of your blue blocks. Okay, so I want you to feel your upper body is a little higher than your lower body, or as high as. And then knees wide so that your hips can hang into that space. Good. And then keep your uh, knees a little behind the hips, so not crunched up here. And your elbows just a little in front of the shoulders, not much. Good, perfect. Everybody looks good. Okay. And then you're going to try to just let your chest sink down into the shoulder blades. It should be a little easier to sink here than it is when you're just on your elbows. Good, and then press down to bring your ribs back up. Just press through elbows, yeah. Do it again, let your ribs sink. See how far they can sink down. Now actually add a little squeeze in the back, upper back muscles to pull your shoulder blades together on the back, behind the rib cage. Inhale while you're down here with your ribs nice and open in the front. Now as you exhale, Think of your elbows pulling your blocks apart on the mat, sideways, and then push down with your elbows just to bring your ribs to level. Don't try to bring them up really high. When people try to bring them high, that's when hips start to help and your glutes squeeze and everything else. Okay? Drop back down slowly as you inhale. Feel the shoulder blades slide along the side of the rib cage toward the back of the ribs. Drop your head. Start your exhale first until you start to feel your ribs close a little. Then push down in your elbows to bring your ribs up. You know how that helps you keep it in the upper body? Do it again. Let it slide down slowly. Feel the sensation of your shoulder blades sliding along your ribs toward the back, toward each other on the back as you inhale. Start your exhale while you're down here. Exhale through your nose. Keep exhaling, keep exhaling, keep exhaling. Feel your ribs start to close. Then press down in your elbows to start coming up. Did I feel the difference there? Good, now come forward so your shoulders are right over your elbows. Yep, good. Do the same thing again. Slide the shoulder blades together. See if you can get them a little deeper, a little lower behind the, the uh, rib cage instead of up near the neck. Exhaling, start closing ribs a little bit, then push down in your elbows to come up to neutral. Good, do it again. Inhale, slide the rib cage down, slide shoulder blades together. Now keep shoulders slid together, pull your shoulders back away from the ears, down the body, away from the nape of the neck. Then push down through your elbows to come up. Good, very good. Okay, now pull your knees forward a little bit, get little, much littler. Okay, now it's really tempting to use your hips. I'm going to let you. I don't want you to use your glutes. Don't use the muscles here. Squeeze your sitting bones together and shove forward where you have gym abs pooch out. Instead, press down a little on the tops of the feet and think of pressing your knees down to lift your hips a touch. Just a little bit. Yep, that's enough. That's good. Okay, now push down through your elbows separately to bring your ribs up. Let your head drop. Inhale. As you exhale, keep exhaling through the nose until your ribs close and see if you can't stretch the back muscles more, pulling shoulder blades wider. Then sit back about halfway. Keep the ribs pulling back. Don't let go. So lift your ribs up. See? More, 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 more. Ribs are kind of sitting on top of the hips now. Good. And then on around. Let the hips go back first. Drop your belly down. And think of pushing the belly out now. Push your transverse abdominals down like you're trying to make a pregnant belly. Then drop your chest into shoulder blades. Stay forward more, Cindy. More, 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 more. Everybody's shoulders over elbows. 
Good, and then push down through your elbows. You can let hip, hips help just a little bit, but don't squeeze the glutes. Press through elbows. Okay, now unround. Start reaching the hips back right there in place until the lower back is flat. Then drop chest all the way down. Pinch the shoulder blades together more. Yeah, you guys start to feel upper back. Good. Last one. I want you to lift low belly just to neutral. Just a little bit. Right there is enough. Then push down through elbows to bring the ribs up. Very good. Go ahead and interlace your fingers. Bring your knees back again. <clears throat> bring your blocks wide. Really wide. And actually, instead of interlacing, let's go ahead and try to bring your elbows really far forward and out to the side and hold opposite forearms. And then see if you can use your knees, like your knees are going to pull the mat forward, make your hip crease deeper, pull back to stretch your shoulders, and then drop your head down through the arms. If it doesn't touch the floor, get a ball, get another block, get something. Your head has to touch a surface. Your little purple ball or your purple block may be good. That may be too on there. Just check it out. Mm -hmm. See if you still feel straight. Were you that high? Yeah. Okay. So as long as your head is touching, you're Those good. Shoulders don't want to go like that. Okay. Breathe. Now think of your elbows almost trying to lift up off your blocks and your shoulder blades trying to squeeze together toward the spine, very near the nape of the neck, pushing your rib cage down. You guys feel that? The shoulder blades come together up high. Good. Now think of pulling your shoulders back, digging down through your elbows a little bit to pull shoulders back away from the nape of the neck. Do that again. Think of your elbows trying to lift up off your blocks and your head getting heavier in your mat and your shoulders kind of coming together behind the ribs and forward toward the nape of the neck, up the spine. Then pull elbows apart and pull shoulders away from the nape of the neck. Drop your ribs a little deeper. Knees should be back far enough that ribs can drop and also wide enough that ribs can drop. Let's do that one more time. This time switch your hands. Opposite hand hold opposite forearm. Think of your elbows as trying to lift up off your blocks to slide your shoulder blades toward each other on the back of the ribs and forward. It will feel like you've shortened your neck, but not by shrugging from the normal muscles, the trapezius. Then pull the elbows down into your blocks and out to the sides to help drop shoulders back and feel your ribs drop deeper. Good. Push through the knees to come back up, bring your head back up. Good. You guys feel that in chest and shoulders? Did you feel how the shoulder blades came together right up high? Yeah. Okay, now bring your blocks together. Bring them as close as you can put them and still put your head in there. A little different angle in your shoulder stretched out. So what we're doing, the first one, we had elbows out to the sides, which brings your shoulder plates toward each other, right? This one, we're going to have your elbows wrapped around and forward so that your shoulder blades come apart. And then we're going to stretch the arm this way, and your shoulder should slide up the side of the ribs without being in toward the spine. Yeah? Makes sense to see it anyway? Now you're going to try to put your elbows pretty far forward, hands in prayer. Spread your fingers out a lot. Watch before you go down, because when, when we're down, I don't understand. This is what I mean by tent your fingers. Okay, so when I say tent your fingers, this is what you're going to do. You're going to pull your palms apart and keep the fingers together. It will change the angle and the shoulder stretch. So first start with your hands flat, knuckles lined up. Walk your knees back. You're trying to put your upper arm on the block. If that is literally impossible for you to do, you need height. First, you may try it, but if you're going to put that height here, because that's impossible for you to do, you're going to need height here more than likely, too. Okay? But first, try to get into it. So you reach your elbows forward. It's a little awkward to get into. You walk back till upper arms can touch down. Let your head drop to something. Okay, I'm going to go back to less props. Okay? Alright, so get your elbows on there, hands together, walk elbows forward, walk knees back, open knees out to the side. That'll get you lower too, right? Then start bringing your head down, and again, it should touch a surface. Yes, and yeah, that's a pretty big shoulder stretch, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so. You may need to be uh, up higher and have your head on or have your head on something then if it's too much. So what happens if it's too much is you'll feel the shoulder plates slide together like they did in the last stretch. Instead of letting your shoulder stretch the right way with that outer rotation. Keep letting the chest drop. Pull your hands all the way into the 
thoracic spine. So your thumbs touch your upper back. There we go. Yep, put your hands in. Head's got to touch something. If it won't touch the floor, you get a purple block with a little purple ball. Your shoulders will not let go if you're forcing yourself down there. Okay, here we go. Bring your hands forward. All the way forward. One more time. Bring them back to the thoracic spine. Good. Now you're going to press down through your elbows. Even if the stretch was too big, try this part. Look up here for a second. You're going to press down through your elbows and try to round up, just like we did earlier. Lift your belly up. Lift your ribs up. Keep the pressure in your elbows. Drop your head. Breathe. As you exhale, close your ribs to help hold the rib cage up there high. Get the ribs up. Get the ribs up. Your head is right in the back of your hands. Good. Now let your hips sweep back as you start to unround. Drop the belly. Drop the ribs. Come back down into your stretch rib cage leading the way. Good. Do that. That's better, Cindy. Do that again. Press down through the elbows. Press down through your knees. Pick your core up. Round. Now come forward so your shoulders come over your elbows. Push down and elbows trying to slide the shoulder blades off the back just like earlier. Pick your belly up. Good. Now unround. Hips start reaching back. Sit back. Let your ribs drop down. Let your head drop down. Now tense your fingers so the palms come away from each other. Pull your hands into the thoracic spine that way. And then bring it back forth. Feel a little difference in the shoulder stretch. Do it again. Pull the hands back. And let it come forward. Good. Hands all the way together again. Hands stay right above the elbows now. Press straight down through elbows. Bring your head off the mat. Come forward until the top of the head touches the thumbs. Right inside the thumb, side of the wrist. Pull your ribs up to wrap. Push through your elbows. Breathe. As you exhale, close your ribs. Unwrap your hips first. Try to slide the head straight down, still touching for as long as you can the forearms. Then sit down. Good. Drop your arms forward. Good. And push your knees to come back up. Good. Different stretch, right? You feel the difference? Oh, gosh. Yes. With your elbows, you need, to be, you need to be higher on this and higher with your head. It's just too big a stretch. All right. Let's come back. On the third level on your box, put your forearms on the box on the third level. And we're going to start using the rest of the arm. Knees wide, shoulders right over your elbows. So your knees could come forward a little. Good. All right, palms face each other, but hands are loose, wrists are loose. Drop your chest down into the shoulders, really let it sink there. Squeeze the shoulders together, and then think of shrugging them forward toward the nape of the neck, and then pull them back. Try to keep your chest down the whole time. Shrug them forward. Yep. And then pull them back. One more time. Shrug shoulders forward. Good. Pull them back. This time, press down through elbows to pick your ribs up. Lift your low belly round. Good. Pick the ribs up a little higher. Push through elbows. And then on around, drop back down. Good. Walk your knees back a little bit. Locks are pretty close together. Less than shoulder width. Elbows on top, hands in prayer. Walk your knees back enough that you can pull your blocks back towards you with the shoulders to their corner. Hands up, hands right above elbows. Yeah. You're going to basically watch. You're going to try to pull with your shoulder blades and stabilize your core and then reach your shoulders forward. Nothing else moves. Pull with shoulder blades. Shoulders come on the back. Good. Reach the shoulders forward. Yeah. Pull with shoulder blades. Downward pressure in elbows helps you. That's why blocks are there. And reach it forward. Good. Feel the movement of the shoulder blades. Pull with shoulder blades, bring them together, bring them together. Good, reach back forward again. Pull your core back a little and your elbows go forward. Pull with shoulder blades, hold, inhale. Exhale till your ribs start to close, but don't round. Keep exhaling, keep exhaling. Now reach shoulders forward. Go ahead, you have that anchor there. Pull shoulders back again. Good, reach the shoulders forward, drop your chest down, drop your head, hands stay above elbows, and bring it all the way back up. Good, how are we doing? Let your shoulder blades move a little bit. Good. All right. Get the blocks out of the way for the moment. Put them off the mat. Keep them within reach. We'll leave them together in a minute. And let's go to hands. Knees about as wide as the mat. Spread your fingers out. Hopefully shoulder blades are mobile now so that you can do this movement through your shoulder girdle without just bending and straightening your arms. Okay? Here we go. Arms stay straight. Fingers are turned out a little bit so that your index finger is actually pointing out to the sides just a touch. 
outer spiral arms too, so biceps face forward, but then don't squeeze your arms in toward your chest. Pull out on the mat, away from each other. Then let your chest sink and feel your shoulders slide together on the back. Let your belly just hang. Good, inhale. Exhale till you feel your ribs start to close together from the inside, then push down through hands. Really spread the back muscles, pushing the mat away with your hands. Keep the pressure in the hands, we'll let the head hang. Stay up here now, inhale. Exhale until your ribs can close all the way together. Sit back about halfway, keep your ribs pulling back. Don't lose that pulling ribs back out of the shoulder girdle feeling. Good. Now unround, ribs come forward into shoulder blades. Let's go back. Good, do it again, round it up. Pull ribs back out of shoulder blades. Round, round, pull your ribs back, pull your ribs back, pull your ribs back, reach your arms forward. Good, unround, ribs come forward into shoulders. Arms stay strong, shoulders release, chest release. It's good, do it again. Round it, pull ribs back out of the shoulder girdle. Good, now pick your head up. There's a kink in your neck now. Now when you drop chest forward, keep shoulders really near the nape of the neck. Then drop ribs, then drop the belly, now pull shoulders down, away from ears. Let's do that again. Push into your hands, slide your rib cage back out of the shoulder blades. By pulling with core, sliding shoulders forward. Drop the head at first, inhale. Exhale till your ribs close. Pick your head up, squish your neck, shrug shoulders up to it. Now unround the hips, keep that shrug in the shoulders. Now drop chest forward and then pull the shoulders out of the ears. Good, let's go the other way. Keep chest dropped forward, sit back a little, shrug your shoulders forward. You kind of push down in hands and shoulders go up and forward. Then round your hips under, keep head up. Last thing you're gonna do is drop the head and then shoulders drop away from the ears, come forward. Do that again, lift your head up. Drop your ribs down as far into the shoulder blades as you can with head up. Drop the belly too. Sit back like that, butt up, head up, ribs down, belly down. Then go the other way, lift your low belly, round, pushing through knees. Pull the ribs back, let your head drop last, and then shoulders pull down and hands pull apart to get shoulders wide away from ears. Come forward in that rounded shape. Don't let your ribs drop. You're gonna feel weight come into your hands. Keep pushing the floor away. Good. Now hips reach back to unround. Head comes up. Good. Drop your chest into the shoulder blades to make the arc in the back. Keep the head lifted up. Sit back with your butt up. It's almost like your shoulder blades create a cradle for the base of the head. Then when you start rounding from hips, you may crack the upper back a few times as you roll through. Dump the head off its shoulder blades last. Keep your ribs pulling up. You have no weight in your hands. You're actually pulling ribs up. Come forward. Feel the weight come into your hands. Now you have to keep pushing to keep your ribs that high. You feeling this? Movement through the spine. One more time. Head up, butt up, butt up and back. Good. Keep the core long though. Don't push your back. Okay, then drop the chest into shoulder blades. You're pretty far forward over hands. Good, sit back like that. Head fits into the shoulder girdle. When you feel weight come into your feet and less weight in your hands, pull hips under by pushing into knees, sucking belly back, then pull ribs closed. Dump your head off last. And then come forward. You'll start feeling weight in your hands. Push them out away to keep ribs up high. Okay, we're going to reverse it. Sit back with ribs up high. Stay rounded, stay rounded, stay rounded, stay rounded, stay rounded. Don't sit all the way. Now unround your hips. Ribs drop forward into shoulders as hips go back. Ribs forward. There we go. Come forward. Pulling shoulder blades together. Keep your head up, butt up as you come forward. Keep your chest dipped. How far past the hands can you go? Good. Now push through hands. Pick up belly. Drop the head. Push it forward. Spread your back muscles. Really think of the upper back muscles trying to spread. Hands pulling that apart, knees pulling that apart. Don't pull in, pull apart with knees. Sit back, keep your low belly lifting, your knees pulling apart, hands pulling apart, everything's pulling out. Once you're back pretty far, on around your hips, feel weight come into the top of your feet, top of the ankles have to push down. Drop chest forward into shoulders. Sit into that deeper, get those upper back muscles going. Pick your head up. Neck is going to get squished a little in the back, but long in the front. Come forward like that. See so if you can pass the hands, pin shoulders together. Good. Dump the head down first. Then push through hands to bring your ribs up, lift the belly up. Good. Now squeeze your glutes and push forward. You don't usually do that. Actually squeeze your glutes, pull your heels toward each other, pull your knees in now, push forward. Good. 
Good. Now pull your chin forward, head forward, lengthen by bringing your ribs forward past your hands. Nice. Get long. Good. Now bend your elbows a little bit. Pull. 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 Now drop your head back down. Pick your core up. Push through hands to bring ribs down. Good. How are we doing? Very good job. Pull the knees in. Tuck your toes. Turn your right hand backwards if you can. If you don't want to do hands, you don't have to, but the more it hurts, the more you probably need it. All right, so push back through your right foot. Now, I don't want you to go as long as you possibly can in your plank. First of all, it's going to really stretch your wrist. But I want you to keep your plank really short. So that in order to straighten the leg, this hip pops up a little bit. Okay? <clears throat> then you're going to try to drop the hip back down without moving the foot backwards. Good. Now drop chest into shoulder blades. Good. Push the mat away, spread the shoulders first. Roll your right hip up on top of the left so it faces right. Keep pushing through your left hand. Good. Now start dropping back down into your left shoulder blade, then roll your right hip down. Good. Do that again. Push down through hands to bring the ribs up. Shoulder blade spreading. Roll your right hip up on top of the left. Dip your ribs back down into the left shoulder blade. Feel that left shoulder slide under your back. Roll the hip back down. This is tough. Arms have to stay straight while shoulders move. Spread shoulder blades. Roll your right hip up. Higher, 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 higher. Drop the ribs back down into the shoulders first. Roll the right hip down. Good. Now start pushing with your left hand to sit back into your right calf stretch. Your right heel should get closer to the ground. You're going to push back into a half down dog, but watch. Don't let your right heel do this and push the floor away with the ball of the foot. Instead, keep the right heel reaching back. Keep that calf quad and, or sorry, uh, uh, calf and uh, hamstring stretch and push back, keeping that stretch. Butt will go back, heel will go down. Perfect. Breathe. Naturally, because you don't like the wrist stretch, that shoulder blade will shrug forward. Good. Take your hip back, reach your wrist forward. Hips can go a little left here, left knee can go a little cross center to deepen the stretch. A lot of weight in your left hand and come back down. Good. You guys feel this open up there too? Yeah. Okay, now peel your right hand back. Don't skip this part. It actually feels better. Both knees are down. Make the knuckles bend here. Make them bend. We're going to be doing some down dog and we're going to move soon and I want your hands to be in the right place. When you come forward, think of your elbow pushing forward. Low, low, low. Don't let it pop up until last and roll forward. Do that again. Peel back. Elbow bends back and down toward the floor. Keep the pinky side of the hand forward as you roll back forward. Last one, I promise. Roll all the way back. One finger at a time. Heels off the mat. And come to your knuckles like this with your fingers flat up into your hand. Really pull the fingers up into the palm. When you really do that, it kind of shores up the wrist here. Keep the wrist strong. Do that with your other hand too. Thumbs on the mat, toes tucked. Press down through the knuckles to bring your ribs up high. Yeah, this should be the easiest one of these you've done yet. Is cat, is cat cow have an or Yeah, cat cow have a new meaning, I hope. Keep those ribs up without squeezing glutes and pushing hips forward. Hips are just released back there. Okay, let's open the knees a little bit. Keeping your ribs high, just sway the hips side to side. Ribs will go with it. Make sure your hips are loose. Good, don't let your ribs fall when you do it. That's not, not with hips. Don't pull them up with hips. Push with hands to keep ribs up. Hips stay loose. Good. All right, keeping toes tucked. Press back and do a down dog from here. Oh, good job. Everybody's popping. All right, first big stretch in the hamstrings. Keep pushing through the knuckles to bring your shoulder blades up the side of the ribs. Hips reach back, butt reaches back. Bend your knees, keep your hips reaching back. Butt back as far away from the knuckles as you can. Breathe, nobody's breathing, don't hold your breath. And come back down. Flatten out your fingers. Oh, that sucks. All right, good. Let's stretch the fingers the other way. Try to bring your fingers back towards you and then bend them back with your wrist going forward. Other hand. Stay with the hand we just did. If this is impossible to find, just turn it back around where we were doing it before. And then see if you can keep that and turn it back around. The other way we find it is from here and doing this. All right, don't worry about it, flatten out the hand. Left side, turn the left hand backwards. Try to match up your left wrist with your right tops with your fingers and your right wrist with the left fingers. Good. All right, and drop your chest down into the shoulder blades. Push through your left foot. You're going to try to keep the toes caught on the mat. So most of the toe, or most of the foot, excuse me, is under you. Don't be here like you're pushed out in a plank. Be 
much more here. Okay, so I get that foot under. So it's a short position. Down dog means plank where your hip has to almost pop up to let that leg straight. Okay, then we're going to drop the chest down into shoulders and drop the hip down. You do have to be able to fit the hip down, so you may have to wiggle the foot back a little. Okay, push through hands to bring your ribs up. Roll your left hip up on top of the right. Really push down in that right knee. Push down through hands to pick ribs up. Good, now start dropping your ribs down. The right shoulder blade comes onto the back of the ribs. Roll the left hip down. Good. Your hips should have room, so don't be too short so you feel like you're really forward. Do it again. Push down with hands to bring ribs up. Roll your left hip up on top of the right. Good. Drop the chest down. Right shoulder blade coming out of the back. Roll the left hip down. Good. Two more. Push through hands. Inhale. Exhale. Roll the left hip up. Stay up here. Inhale. And exhale. Drop in the shoulders. Roll the left hip down. Good, last one. Inhale on the way up. Hold while you're up here. Exhale until your ribs close. Keep exhaling, keep exhaling, keep exhaling. Roll your right hip up. Inhale. Drop the chest into shoulder blades. Exhale and roll the hip down. Good. Now push into your right hand. You can even take it forward a little bit to push you into that calf stretch on the left side. And then without losing the calf stretch, can you push your butt back? It almost feels like it has to pop up and over that calf stretch. Okay, so no heel coming up. Heel stays back, butt back, hips back. The right knee will come off the ground. There we go, breathe. Naturally, because your body doesn't like the wrist stretch, your shoulder shrugs forward. We want that. You can take your hips a little to the right to open that left side more, and you can take the right knee a little across. And come on back down. To come out of it, even if you have to come out early, peel your hand back, leaving the knuckles down. Make this come into a hand stretch before you just pull the hand out. And then try to bring the pinky side of the hand back down to the mat. If you skip that part, it actually sucks more coming out of this. Okay, peel back. Okay. Yeah, and then roll back down. Pinky side of the hand leading. Think of your elbow as peeling back and down. Like you're peeling a sticker backwards. Down, 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 down. And then forward again. Okay, this time you get to peel all the way back. Your weight's in your right hand. One finger at a time pops off the mat from the knuckles. Fingers flatten up into the palm. Come to knuckles. Knuckles a little further forward. This is going to be a longer down dog. Keep your thumbs in the mat. You can bend the thumb a little bit. And you're going to press back like you're in a plank. Good. Pull up like you're in a plank. Come back down. Everybody feet further back. Just a little. Okay. Keep your chest where it is. Press your legs back. Chest doesn't change. There we go. Keep your ribs a little dipped. Then press back using your knuckles to take your body back without changing the angle of the spine. Yes, you guys feel the difference? Now bend your knees, butt reaching back, knuckles pushing them out of the way, and come back down. Good job. Bend your fingers backwards however you know how. If you can do it here, do it here. If you can't, then do it here one at a time. But did get the counter scratch from what we just did. So peel the hands back one at a time if you're back. If you're this way, you're just going to go. And then do the other one. Bend, 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 bend. If you're here, you can just hold it. Maybe move back and forth your shoulders. All right, good. How are we doing? Hands are awake. <laughs> okay. Spread your fingers out. Tuck your toes. We're going to push back into your first down dog. But first, notice the movement in the shoulder blades here. Okay, when you push back into down dog, I'm going to do it this way so you can see my upper back. I tell you guys to push the mat away, and a lot of times I see this. My neck is gone. See how my shoulders roll into each other and into the neck. Now, if my core and hips help, the shoulders can stay wide and the core can pull back. See the difference? I'm still moving through shoulder girdle, but I'm not using my neck. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, so we've been working on this pulling back, this pulling back. Here we go. You're going to keep your ribs dipped a little bit. That ensures the space here, just a touch at first. Then you're going to push your hips back. Shoulders are away from ears. Now when you take your chest back, you can lift your ribs a little from inside, from core, and keep taking hips and butt and chest back, but don't shrug shoulders forward. Feel the difference? Keep your shoulders pulling back even as your hips and ribs pull back. That's what keeps them wide. Keep your hands pulling them out apart. Bring your right leg straight back, level with the floor. 
Try to put your left heel down. If it's not touching, walk your hands back. Walk your hands back. Walk your hands back. So you walk them back. Get that heel down or as close to down as you can. Yep, there we go. Now roll your right hip down. Right frontal hip touching left groin if you can. Now walk hands back another inch. Bend your knees. Push your hip backwards and down towards your heel. Not heel up to hip. Hip down to heel. Take your right leg across to the left as far as you can. Keep your chest trying to reach back for the thigh. Okay, now the shoulders are slid up the ribs because ribs are pulling back now because you're shrugging back. Bring your right leg back. Right leg up. Push through your left leg. Keep the heel down as the right leg goes up. Breathe. Everybody breathe. Keep pushing that heel back by pushing your chest back. And bring that leg back down. Good. We need a break in between your side two. All right, side two. Left leg back. Right heel down into the mat. If it's not touching, walk your hand back. Get that heel to come down into the mat. Good. Now bend your knee, bringing your hip down. Keep the heel down. Yes. Keep that left hip rolling down and the left knee facing right. Bring your left leg across to the right. Keep your right knee open too. Push your chest back to the thigh. Kind of lay your ribs on that thigh. Breathe. Point your toe back to. Good. Bring it back to the middle. Good. Straighten the right leg, keeping the heel down. Roll your left hip up. Chest back, don't shrug shoulders, hands pull them out apart, and bring it back down. How are we doing? Working. Yeah? <laughs> Working? All right, let's grab your blocks. Good job. All right, so you're all warm in your upper body. To say the least. Bring your left foot forward, heel on the mat, just outside the block. Actually, let's start that again. Walk your knees back. Now bring your left foot forward outside your blocks, keeping your right knee way, way back there. Good. Hips push back. Hips right above the knee. You should be pretty much a straight line here with your thigh parallel to the front wall and back wall. Okay? And you should be able to reach your blocks. Okay, from here, you're going to bend your left knee, pull it out to the left. Your left toes are turned out on a 45 degree angle, but your foot stays flat. So no in the foot, no dying with your foot. I want you to feel like your toes grab the mat and pull the knee out to the left as you sit forward into your stretch. Good. Now bring your blocks back to you and put your upper bottom. Now adjust your back knee. See if you can tuck the toes and pull your back knee a little further back. Yep. So your hips can really drop into the stretch. Good. How are we doing? Okay. Everybody use your left foot on the mat. Pull your left knee open to lean left. Think of rolling your right hip back. Right hip back on top of the left hip and sit into your left hip. Instead of letting your right hip go forward. Pick the right hip up, sit into your left hip. That's still the difference. Okay. Now go ahead and press back with your left leg, but try to keep your ribs dipped forward as your left leg pushes the left hip back. You probably won't go to a straight leg and that's fine. Now, keeping ribs dip forward, come back into it. Let your hips drop deeper below the ribs. Next, you should be able to get deeper into it that way. Okay, now let's try this. Squeeze your right glute, only your right glute, just a little bit to nail that hip forward. Keeping the hip forward, can you push down your elbows and bring your ribs back? Round your upper back. Yeah. Good. Now let the ribs drop back forward. Good. Keep the hip forward. Squeeze your right glute. Now push your elbows to try to bring your ribs back. Don't let the hips go too. And then drop back forward. Good. Push your elbows to bring the ribs back one more time. Now bend the knee, pull the hips back. Sit back with your left hip. Now drop your ribs forward as much as you can. And then pick the ribs back up. Good. Drop your ribs forward and down in this shape. Very good. Feel how that deepens your hip stretch? Pick the ribs back up. When you drop your ribs down, drop them down first. Then bend your knee out to the left to drop your belly and ribs deeper. Yes, now that gets into that IT band in the outer hip. Yeah, you okay? Yeah, it's pulling. If it's pulling that much, we yeah. have to do it on top of it, so get on your hands. Yep. Okay, one more time. We'll do it on the hands of Mary. Bring the ribs back. Good. And then drop ribs forward. Bend the left knee out to the left. See if you can sink the belly and ribs deeper. Oh, Feel yeah. the difference? Oh, yeah. It's a better stretch, right? Yeah. So if it feels awful, and you just need to be higher. Your ribs need to be more on top of it. Okay, here we go. Drop into the shoulder blades and sit all the way down into that left hip stretch. Keep your left knee opening. Breathe. Very good. Tuck your right toes. 
up. Now use the right leg. I don't want to see anything here change. I want everything else to stay the same. Your foot's going to work hard to pull the leg off the ground. Foot and quad, that's it. Okay? And then tap the knee to the floor. Re-straighten it. Pull back. Now pull your left knee open. Sit further left. Yep. Now push through your left hip. Try to push the left hip back, but keep the ribs dipped down. It won't go as straight, probably, for most of you. Good. Now keep your right glute squeezing your right hip forward. Push your elbows. Bring your ribs up. Good. Now don't drop your ribs back down. Bend your left knee out to the left and sit your hips down again. Good. Starting to feel that back foot work. Do it again. Push down through your elbows. Let's come to plank. So your head is level with the spine. Your head is level with the back foot. One straight line from that back heel to your head. Push down through elbows to bring your ribs up this time. Then push back with your left leg to push your left hip back. Yeah, that's easier, right? Now start bending the left knee. Pull your right hip back so it's in line with the left hip. Drop your ribs down into the shoulder blades and sit your hips deeper, deeper, deeper. <laughs> Put the back knee up. Good job. Keep the back toes tucked. Press through the front leg. If this feels really tight, come to hands. And sit back that way. Come to hands. Okay, roll your right hip back. Yep, flex the front foot. Job. Bring your front block or your outside block to second level so you can put elbow on it or hand. Either way, see if you can bring your other arm back, reach the chest open, twist. Good. And then arm overhead, pick your ribs up, round, round, suck the belly back, stabilize from your core, and bring it back to your block. Good. Hands back on the blocks, left foot, bring the ball of the foot down to the mat, keep toes spreading. And then pull with your foot to pull your hips down into your stretch. Then put the toes back down. Come back to elbows. Last one here. You're going to keep your hips forward. Keep the right glute a little squeeze, pushing the hip forward, and see if your quad, this muscle, can pull the leg straight, really flexing that quad, stiffen the back of the knee to the ceiling, and keep your glute pushing the hip down. Left glute's loose. That's the hard part. Keep the left knee open. Left glute's not engaged. They aren't pulling together, it's just one of them. Good. All right, and push your left hip. Good. This time you're going to roll your right hip open, spin your right heel in and down, and heel to that this shoulder. Hands to your blocks. Turn your left toe so that the foot is parallel to the side of the mat. Yeah, so I've got, par I've got perpendicular feet. This one's this way, this one's this way. Blocks right inside the foot. Good. Sit back into your right hip. Your left hip digs into the right groin. Good. Drop chest into shoulders. Good. And then roll the right hip forward. Lean your ribs long. Out past your blocks. Core sucks long. Good. And then push through left foot. Roll your right hip back. Sit into that triangle. Don't stick your butt back to me. Keep the head under you more. Breathe. Roll the right hip forward. Ribs go forward. Now use your left foot to steer your left hip back. If this is hard, hop your right foot up to the right one. There you go. And then roll your right hip back. A lot easier, right? Okay, now roll your right hip forward. Much better. Now feel your left hip hug in to the right a little bit. And keep the ribs going forward. Feel that deep in that hip stretch. Now turn your left toes out to the left just a touch. And bend your left knee out to the left. Ribs forward one. There we go. Hip is back. Hip is back. Good. All right. Restraighten your left leg. Roll the right hip back. Good. Without sticking your butt out to me. Keep that hip under you and then sit into it. Okay. Ribs go forward. Roll the right hip forward. All the way. There we go. Yep. That's it. And then push through the left foot. Roll back. Good. Keep your right hip rolled back. Left toes can turn straight again. Bring your right arm up. Triangle. Keep your left hip reaching back. That's it. Not back to me. Back to your right groin. Bring the arm overhead. Push the mat away. Use your left shoulder blade to bring your ribs higher. Good. And then bring the arm back. Sit into your left shoulder blade and feel how the hip can go back more. Yes. Do it again. Pull the shoulder blade down to bring your ribs up. Come on. Use that shoulder blade. Use your serratus under here. Good. And then let the ribs drop into the shoulder and let the hip drop back. Good. Keep the hand by the leg. Roll the right side down, left side back, and then roll the whole right side back. Good. I want shoulder and hip to go together. Roll it down. 
Good, roll it back. You guys feel that stretch in the outside of the left leg? Roll it down. Good, roll it back. This time roll it down, reach your right arm out. Spin onto the toes of your right foot. Hop it back into the middle. You can put your hand on your block if you need to a transition. If you want to do it in the air, you can do it in the air. Okay, wiggle that foot further back. Bend your left knee, keep your right side reaching long and dropping down. Good, that's it, breathe. Fingers long, no wrists up. Head down below the arm, arm up below the head. Good, and bring your hand to your block. Bend the front knee, put your back knee down. How are we doing? Working? Good, you'll tell your left foot inside your block. Your right foot, scratch that. Your left foot and your right knee are now hip width apart. Okay, so if they were on the same plane, they'd be hip width apart. Drop your hips forward. Yep. Good. Okay. Let's bring your right elbow across to the left knee. How does this work? If this hip is hell bent on being back here, it doesn't. You have to drop your right hip forward. Then you can bring the right elbow across to the left knee. Yes. Good job, guys. Keep dropping forward. Hands can then come into prayer. They don't have to. If they're not going to come into prayer, use this for balance. Watch. Pull with your elbow against the leg. Push the back hip forward. Use a little glute squeeze to anchor that hip forward. Now pull with elbow to bring your ribs back, keeping the hip forward. Same thing we did, but now you're twisted. And then drop back into it. If hands are in prayer, the back hand pushes. Pull and push at the same time, left hand pushing. Suck ribs back, keep hip pinned forward. And then drop back forward. One more time. Ribs go back, hip stays forward. That is your twist. And drop back forward. You gotta bring your blocks back. Push through the front leg. Very nice. Step your front foot back. High plank. Get high on your toes. Come on, use the ball of the feet. Your heels should be right over those toes. Good. Bend your right knee, roll over the foot. Okay, bring it back. Bend the left, roll over the foot. Put the ankle to the ground. Push with your ankle. Bring it back. Roll over the foot. Try to push your ankle into the mat. Roll it back. Last one. Roll over the foot. Push the ankle into the mat. Roll it back. Step your right foot forward. And come on back. Get outside the block. Sorry, I didn't sit up. Yeah, foot wide. Outside. So everybody up. Foot outside your block. Back to the beginning of the sequence for side two. Okay, you're going to start with your back knee pretty far back. So walk it back. You can tuck toes to adjust and get that knee further back. Okay, we're really long here. Your right toes are turned out a little. Don't turn your toes out further than your knee can go out. Right, so if your toes are out 45 or whatever that is, your knee should be able to go out past it. Yeah? And then sit forward with your knee passing the outside of the pinky, but then your foot doesn't just die and sickle out. It's holding on to the mat. Let's lift the front toes and spread them, but keep the ball of the foot down, all the knuckles down. Okay, bring your blocks closer to you. Elbows to your blocks. Sit into that. Now bring your toes back down, grabbing the mat. Try to pull the knee open like you're using the pinky side of the foot to pull on the mat to open the right knee. Your medial with the outside of the hip is going to pull that knee open. I don't care if you bring your blocks a little over to the right. Good. Yep, and be higher. No, that's big. Go up. Yeah. Okay. All right, from here, go ahead and press with your right foot. Send your right hip back, but keep your ribs resting in the shoulder joint. So I don't care if you're going to go back an inch or two. And then come forward. Pull the knee open. Use the foot on the mat to really help open the knee. And then draw back into your stretch again. You should be able to go deeper. Okay. Push with the left toes a little. Squeeze your left glute just a touch. Push the hip forward. And let that go. Okay. Pick up your left hip. Get on top of the right hip more. Sit for the right. Open the knee. Good. Push back with the right foot. Keep your ribs dropped into the shoulder as you push back. You don't have to go far. Open the knees, foot on the mat to pull that right knee open. Sit back down into your stretch. Pull with your right foot to pull your right hip toward your right heel. Now we're getting a little deeper there. Okay, now keep your left glute a little squeeze. Push down through your elbows to try to bring your ribs back. And then drop the ribs forward. So only the ribs should be moving. Do it again. Keep left glute squeeze just a touch to send the hip forward. Right glute's not squeezing. Medial glute's pulling open, but glute's max is not. Push with elbows to bring ribs back a little. And then drop back into the shoulder glutes. Do that again. Keep left glute a little. Push with elbows, bring ribs back a bit. Good. And then drop back into shoulder girl. 
Keep the upper body loose now. Push with the right hip, right foot. Bring that right hip back. Good. And then coming forward, bend the knee out to the side. Sit into your right hip. Stretch hips. Scoop under ribs a little deeper. Yes. How are we doing? Good. All right. Let's push through the right foot. Come back. Bring your hands to your blocks. Sit your left hip back. So actually let your hips twist open the base. Good job. Flex that front foot. You can slide the heel forward a little bit. Feels better on the mat than off. And bring your block to second level. Good. You can sweep your left foot to the right a little bit to help you with balance. You guys get that? Okay. And bring your left arm back. And up and over. Push with the hands. Suck the belly back. Reach. Good. Your balance is in your core. Good. And then bring it back. Hips go back. Yeah. You guys feel that a little more? Do it again. Shoulder blade comes down the hip, hip comes to shoulder blade. Most of you guys want to do that all the time. And then drop it back. Get an arm to your block. Block back in front. Turn your foot back to the left. Turn your right foot out to the right. Bring the ball of the foot down. Keep the toes spreading. Pull with that foot. Drop the chest forward. And I want you to pull your right hip into the stretch. Sit down deeper. Yep. Get a little deeper there. Come back to elbows. Good. Good adjustment. Cindy, that you needed to go back. That was good. All right, here we go. Last one. You're going to keep the top of the foot into the mat. Push the elbows to bring your ribs back. Then also push with the right foot to take the hip back. Keep trying to pull your right hip back and kind of scoop it under your left hip. That's the same action we're going to make when you're in the couple postures for now. When you're trying to roll hips open and close. Bend the front knee. Drop ribs back into shoulder blades. Sit into that stretch. Good. Tuck the back toes. Pick up the back leg. Let's try that again. Let me cue that a little better. Keep the ribs drop. Keep the hip drop. Keep your left glute squeezed. When you pick up the back leg, nothing else is going to move. It's almost like your quad has to fight your glute to pick it up so you're staying in that hip flexor stretch. You guys feel that? Good. Breathe. Now push through elbows, bring hips up in line with ribs. Good. Push through the right foot to send that right hip back more. Good. Push through elbows to pick your ribs up. Now drop ribs down first, then bend the right knee out to the side. Keep opening the knee, keep dropping your ribs. Sweep hips under ribs. If you want to put the back knee down, you can take a break if not, just hold your stretch. Do it again. Bring hips level with head. Head goes forward, hips come up, right foot pushes a little. Spread your shoulders, pushing down through your elbows. Stroke them forward, touch. Then push with right foot, staying right. Try to push your right hip back. Good. Start bending the right knee about halfway and hold. Sweep the head forward, chest forward, chin forward. Drop chest into shoulder blades and dip that hip below your ribs. Good. How are we doing? Getting deeper? Yeah? Okay, good. Go ahead and push back. Hands to your ball. Press back into your back leg. Good. Turn your front toes in so the foot's parallel to the side of the mat. Turn your back heel in and down. Okay. Now, if this is hard for you on the other side, you're going to want to do the same thing here. Bring your left foot more to the left side of the mat. If it's easy, your heels can be on the tightrope. Okay. If, it's, if you can't get this movement of ribs go forward, roll your left hip forward and your right hip back with legs staying straight, you need to widen your legs. Stop. Cindy, that's more of this. Feel the difference? Okay. Feet wide. Blocks forward. Chest forward until the hip follows. There you go. That's different. And then roll back. Push with your right leg to push your left hip back. Okay. Now chest forward until the right hip follows. The left foot has to feel like it's pushing your the right hip. As the right foot has to feel like it's pushing your right hip back as your ribs and left hip go forward. Okay? Then roll your left hip back behind the right hip. Good. Do it again. Ribs go forward until the left hip follows that part you have. Of you are already there. Ribs go forward until the left hip follows. Good. Hold. Now release your chest. Good. Now think of rolling back. Keep this hip under you. There we go. And sit into this hip more. Yes. Now ribs go forward first to bring your left hip. Better. Feel the difference? Hips go back. Sit into this hip more. There's your stretch. Ribs go forward. Left hip follows. Good. Last two. You guys feel the hips roll? 
ribs forward, left hip follows, and then left hip starts rolling back. You're still sitting heavy into this stretch. So your right hip is rolled under a little, and then you sit your ribs down into that stretch. That's what's happening when you're back. When you come forward, try to stay down in your ribs, stay down in the hip, and roll forward heavy through the stretch. And then roll back. Got it. Come up. Everybody bring your ribs up. Now bring your ribs forward until their left hip falls. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. And then push the right foot, roll the left hip back. Good. Two more. Ribs go forward. This hip's got to sweep around. It's almost like your right hip goes out to the right and sweeps back. There we go. And then back. Shorten your stance. Your stance is too long. Good. Now ribs go forward. Both sides of your shoulders forward. Shrug your shoulders forward. Get long in your core. Good. Now hips go back. Shoulders don't want to follow. This hip stays back. This hip stays back. Bring it under. Right there. Feel the difference? Mm -hmm. Now hips go. This hip goes forward. This one stays back. Yeah, it should feel like your right hip stays back when you go back. Keep this back. There you go. Don't pull forward like that. Okay. Feel the difference? Mm -hmm. Okay, last one. Ribs go forward. Your left hip comes forward. Everybody's wanting to pull the right hip forward. That will kill the stretch for you. Look at my shape. Not it, right? So when your ribs start going forward, your left hip follows. Your right hip has to stay back. Then when you go back, your right hip still stays back and you roll the left hip behind it. Not, okay, now the right hip's gonna go forward. That's just wagging the tail back and forth. It's just staying <laughs> stuck. I'm serious. Feel the difference between those two? You have to be, once you're forward, everybody's getting this part. Let's do this, open your left foot wider, turn your left toes forward, ribs forward to get your left hip forward. Okay, now ribs forward too, Cindy. Your ribs are making a wall. Get your blocks ribs forward. Okay, get your ribs long, get your core long. There we go, and then your hip follows. Everybody's got this. Now this hip right here, turn your right toes out to the right. Bend your right knee out to the right. Just touch. Now pull this hip back. Yes. Feel that? Mm -hmm. That has to happen. Now when you go backwards, don't close that door up. Keep this back. Sit into that stretch and let your left hip come out from under. Feel the difference? Okay, now ribs go forward. Keep this knee a little bent because you obviously just don't own that stretch. Knee open, hip back. Yeah, feel that? Good. Keep it back when you sit back. Okay, right, still on the difference? There, you got it? Yeah, it's okay. Keep this hip back as you sit back. I don't care if you put your hand here. Let's everybody stick your thumb into this medial glute muscle. If this decides to get rock hard and pull forward, we got problems, okay? Push back on that. Keep that back. Bend your front knee a little bit. Okay. Now roll your left hip back, sitting into this hip stretch. Your fingers should get squished if they're in there. Okay, now roll your left hip forward. This goes way back. Yeah, you guys feel the difference? Mm -hmm. All right, good, roll back. Okay, let's try it with the arm up now. Bring the arm up, full triangle. Okay, you're high enough here. If I'm seeing this, we got some major problems. Hip back, ribs dip into the shoulder. Good, okay. Now, see if you can bring the arm in line with the spine, or with the uh, hip. Roll the whole left side forward. Your right hip's got to go out to the right and back. So I don't care if you have to bend your right knee a little. And then roll it back. Good. Left hip has to go out and around. Right hip has to go to the right and out of the way. Yep. And then roll it back. The whole thing goes back. This hip stays back. Do it again. Roll forward. Yep. And roll the whole thing back. So what does this do? Taking the arm away? You're pretty hard pressed to do that because you're going to fall, right? Okay, here we go. Roll forward. So it feels like, why can't I balance here? It's because you're really fighting to do what you want to do instead of what I want you to do. Get rolled. Get roll it open. Now stop the your body. It's not doing all that. Let it go. Good. Then roll forward. So let that hip come to the knee. There we go. And hand to your block. Spin onto the back toes. Pop your foot more in the middle and further back. You getting this? Okay, bend your front knee, pull it open, okay, and then bring your left arm straight out in front. Good, get long, drop your head down, drop chest into the shoulder blade, breathe. Okay, everybody looks a little tight. Let's bring your left foot wider, bring your blocks a little left, turn your toes out to the right, and tell your foot a little right. So now your inner shoulder is inside the bicep, drop into 
your right shoulder blade. Heel toe, or I'm sorry, wiggle your left foot back, bend your right knee open and forward. Stay dropped into your left shoulder, now, or your right shoulder, now bring your left arm forward. Better, everybody looks better. Now get long on your left side. Reach your left heel back, you know, how much better is that? Yeah, you feel easier here? Now breathe. And bring your hands back down. All right, we're going to go with that. Slowly drop your hips back down into the mat. Sit, 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 sit. Good. You guys starting to tell the difference on some of those? Mm -hmm. Yeah? All right. Don't tell your right foot inside the block. Right block comes down. A big thing for me is where the foot's pointed. When I had it out here, I couldn't no move sale. my hip. But when you turned my foot, then I could move my hip. Right. Okay, so that's good. So if your foot's turned out too far, that is helping. Especially if you're moving your foot from the hip, which is not like good. If your hip is turning out and your foot's turned out, now you want the hip to be able to roll forward, you may have to turn your foot mm -hmm. forward a little to get that to happen easier, which mm -hmm. is fine. That's better. I'd rather see you do that and maybe even roll to your inner foot than be stuck here. Okay? That's totally mm -hmm. fine. Now, if you go all the way forward, we have a really hard time rolling it back out again. Mm -hmm. So, a little happy medium maybe right there may get your hips to move more freely and that's totally fine. Which leg do that forward? We're on the right leg now. Okay. All right. So right leg is forward. Left knee is back. If your foot and knee were on the same plane, they'd be at three, four inches apart, hip width apart. Okay. And then drop forward. Okay. So when I say hip width, too, let everybody think your hips are wider than they are. They're like here, right? Your hip bones is what I'm talking about. These bones, not the flesh, the bones, straight down to inner foot is what I mean by hip width. If you're too wide here, Good luck twisting. You have to go all of this distance around, right? So you're not doing yourself any favors by saying, my hips are really wide and go wide. Feet should be like maybe three inches apart, maybe four. Okay? All right. And then sit forward into that stretch. I want you to feel like this front foot is pulling the mat back to pull your front hip forward, I mean your right hip forward. Okay, now let's play with that for a second. Push through the right foot to push you back a little. Now pull with it to sit your right hip further forward. Good, everything looks good. How are we doing? Okay, now you're gonna use your left elbow, bring it across to your right knee. If your left hip decides it wants to stay back there, you're gonna have some really big problems. Good, you can use your right hand, bring the block wider. Good, and use that for support to try to widen your right ribs out past the hip. Your left elbow's gonna pin that right knee across a little bit. Now pull back with rib cage, push with your right hand, and then drop forward. What's missing? Left glute, anchor the hip forward. If your hands are in prayer, you can do prayer. Pull ribs back, pushing through right hand, pulling with left elbow. If you're here, you're still pushing through right hand, pulling with left elbow, doesn't matter. And then sit your ribs back forward again. Let your left shoulder come to your jawline. Sliding the shoulder blade up the side of the ribs over there. Do it again. Push right hand, pull with left elbow, pull ribs back, keep the left hip forward and drop back into it with your ribs. One more time, I want to see those ribs move. Ribs back, hip stays forward, and drop back down. Good, hands come to your blocks. Tuck the back toes, push back. Press through the right leg. How are we doing? Working? All right, step forward. Blocks out in front, feet as wide as your mat. Good, big toes on the mat, heels apart. Drop chest into your shoulders and just rock your hips to the left. Take your ribs to the left too, and feel your ribs sitting in your left shoulder blade so the left shoulder slides on the back. Keep your belly pushing out like your transverse abs are trying to push to the floor. Now take the whole thing across to the right, ribs and shoulders. Take the whole thing across to the left. Good, start to feel some movement in the SI joint. Take the whole thing across to the right, the SI joint, the joint between hips. Whole thing across to the left. All thing across to the right. Good. Turn your left toes out to the left. Heel toe your right foot over to the right. Sit your right hip to the right, sitting into your left groin stretch. Good. Now pull with your left toes to bring your hips left. Good. Pull with your right foot to pull your hips back to the right. Good. Pull with the left hip to go left. Keep your weight forward in your hands more, everybody. Pull with your right foot to go right. Good, pull with the left foot to go left. Drop your ribs more. There we go, keep them dropped. Pull with the right foot to go right. Different, better, pull with your left foot to go left. Good, stay to the right, drop your ribs, bend your right knee. 
Bend, bend, good, hold. Go tell your right foot further to the right. Yeah. Okay. And then try to pick up your heel. Ankle, nope, not that one. Right heel, sorry. Good, sit into that left groin stretch. Good, see if you can bring blocks forward. Slowly lower the right heel down. How far forward can you reach your left block while pushing your left hip back? I don't care if you need to bring your right block to support you. I don't care if you need to put your right elbow on your right block. Do that for a minute. Now pull your left hip back. Yes, feel the stretch on the left side that you were not previously getting. Good. And bring it back up. Nice. Okay, turn your right fingers to face in. Bring your left hand across, start by holding the thigh. Yeah. Bend your right elbow so it's right above your hand and squeeze the crap out of your body with your fingers and your thumb. Shift your hips to the right, pull with your left elbow, drop your chest down, twist. Good. Now shift your hips back to the left, keep your right elbow forward so that shoulder blade is forward and on the back, drop your head. Shift back to the right, twist. Get that right shoulder blade up on the back. Pull your shoulder blade back. Push into the hand to do it. Switch to the left. And bring it back up. Good. Go that shoulder blade helps move it more. Turn left toes in. Turn right toes out. Hands to the right themselves. Chest forward. Drop chest into shoulder blades or weights in your hand. Squeeze with fingers. Arms are straight. Chest is loose. Hips go to the right because you pull with the right foot. And then hips go to the left. Hips to the right. Pull with your right and hips to the left. Good. Feel that movement through the hips, through the SI joint. Keep your shoulders loose. Your ribs should be able to move back and forth through the shoulder girdle. If your hips go right, your ribs are going to sit a little more right. When your hips go left and your right hip hangs down, your right rib cage is going to hang into that right shoulder blade a little more. Back and forth. You guys feel that? Let the ribs move naturally and freely through the shoulder blade. Stay left. Bend your left knee. Bring your hip down toward that heel and ankle. Good. There you go. Pick up your left heel, ankle forward. Good. Get your upper body up. Don't bear down. Upper body up. Straight arms. Butt back. Hips back. Ribs forward. Your hands are what's helping pull your ribs forward as your hips go back. Good. Now roll back down through that left foot. Okay. Try it again. Bring the heel up. See if you can reach your blocks forward. Bring your left block a little forward. Bring your right block a lot forward. And sit your right hip back and down. Lower the left heel. Good. Really sit that right hip back. Feel the stretch in the right ribs too. Okay, if you don't, bring your left block back and put your elbow on it. Then pull your right hip further back. Your left knee may bend a little more. Good. And bring it back up. Okay, left fingers turn in on your block. I want your left fingers to come over the edge of the block and your left thumb. Go squeeze the inside of the block. Bring your right hand across to the left thigh. Bend your left elbow so it's right above the block. This should be parallel to the front wall, your forearm. Okay, and then you're going to use that elbow up to bring the shoulder blade onto the back of the ribs as you twist. Pull with the right arm. Elbows bend so they're almost trying to be in a straight line. Okay, now when you take your hips back to the right, you're going to try to keep that left elbow up and forward, but drop your head. Feel the shoulder blade on the back. Left. Take your hips to the left and twist further. Good. Take hips back to the right. Keep that left shoulder blade up and forward. Elbow up and forward. Drop the head. Last one. Hips to the left. Good. And bring it back. Good. Feel that shoulder blade a little bit there. Turn the toes forward. Good. Last one here. Pick up your outer feet. The pinky side of the foot lifts. Keep that inner foot down. Put your big toe back down. Good. Bend your knees forward. Feel the feet and ankles. You should. Bring your blocks back to you. Close, close, close. Squeeze with fingers. Spread shoulders to bring your ribs up. Lift your belly. Good. Now try to pull your right hip back. Let the left hip go forward. And then switch. Come back to the middle. Bend the knees. Pull your left hip back. Right hip goes forward. Back to the middle. Take blocks a little forward. You guys get a little squish. Do it again. Feet are lifted. Pull your right hip back. Left hip gets to go forward. Both knees are still bent. Bring it back to center. Pull your left hip back. Right hip gets to go forward. Good. Bring it back. Feel that movement through the hips. Good. Back and forth. Left hip pulls back. Right goes forward. And then switch. Okay. Now let's stay with left hip back. Right hip forward. See if you can let your right ribs drop into the right shoulder blade a little more and let the right hip drop more. Bring it 
back. Left hip goes forward as right hip pulls back. Let your left ribs drop into the left shoulder blade. We'll let the hip drop more. Let's feel that twist deeper and bring it back. Last one, left hip goes back, right hip goes forward. Turn your left toes out to the left. Open your left arm up. Keep your left right inner foot down. Good, open the chest. See how far you can go with that. Good, and bring it back. Okay, now roll the right hip back. Bring your left foot in. Come to the inner left foot. Roll right hip back, left hip forward. What we've been doing, turn your right toes out. It's real easy to roll that right hip out of the way now. You feel that? And bring your right arm up. Keep your inner foot down on that left side. Open your chest. Good, breathe. Get that hand turned around, Cindy, and soften your arm. Bring your arm up towards your head more. And bring your head up. Support yourself with that hand. Now open your chest. Bring your shoulders together. There we go. Better feel the difference. Bring it back. Good, and bring it in. Heel toe the feet in a little. Inner feet in the ground, outer feet lifted. Knees in, suck the belly up to round. Push your hands. You have very little weight in your hands here. If you just tip back a little, your hands are almost doing nothing. They're kind of helping you push. And you're going to unround by digging through heels, dropping hips back, dropping ribs forward. Do it again. Round by bending knees forward. Inhale as you round up. Exhale as you unround, drop the ribs. Stay here. Inhale with this flatter or arch back. Exhale as you round up. Knees pull in and forward, ribs come up. Rock your right hip back. Switch, rock your left hip back. Switch, one more here. Those hips will move. Stay in the middle, unround. Hips back, ribs drop into the shoulders. Let your feet come flat, bend your knees. Good. Heels, heel toe feet a little wider, Cindy. Everybody else may be okay. Heels should be feeling like they're pulling them out apart. Butt sitting down. Feel that space in your hips. Good job. See if you can bring your elbows to your Drop your hips deeper. Keep your knees open. Pull the knees open. Turn your feet out a little. Pull the knees open. Drop your hips deeper. How far back can your hips go away from your blocks? Good. Breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Soften your upper body. Shoulders should be able to move one forward, one back, freely around your ribcage. Good. All right, bring that one. Heel toe it in. Bring your hands to your block. How are we doing? Block, spin around. Turn around. Sit facing away from your blocks. You survived. <sighs> Barely. Then we good? All right. So face me, but you want to go the other way. Okay. All right, here we go. We're going to do a little more with shoulders. You may not want your blocks. It's up to you. Okay, and you may need to sit on a block. If you're going to sit on a block, you're going to use your block. See so if you can take one foot and bring it back pretty far out away from your hips. You've got face in here. So your left foot first. Yep. Now if you know the top of the foot's going to be mad at you, just roll it around a little bit here. Push your heel away. Try to push that ankle into the mat, and then roll your heel back in. Do that a few times. Yep. Get that foot to be used to taking some pressure here. Yeah. All right. Those feet are ready. Okay. Here we go. Bring your hands back to your blocks. Okay. You gotta sit a lot further forward away from those blocks. Not do it this way. Sit on. Sit on Sit on a block if you need to. Now tense your right foot up. Now, before you decide you need to be on a block, try this one. We're not I already know. You already know. We're going to lift the hips up. Go ahead and roll your shoulders back. Push through your right foot. Push through the top of the left foot. Trying to push. Put your knee off the ground. Left knee's in the air. Try to push your ankle into the mat. Get your foot on your mat. Cindy, that's going to kill your foot. There we go. Okay, now roll your shoulders together. Pinch the shoulder blades. Push through both feet. Now squeeze your butt. One time. Get to squeeze your butt. All right, let your butt go. And then come down, hips really forward. Okay, good, now we can. All right, now roll over to the right. Use your right thumb into the side of the block, roll the right shoulder back, reach the left knee away, drop the right knee over. Good, three. Good, that looks good, man. Bring it back yeah, in there. Feels good. That feels good. Yeah, good yeah. right in here. Yeah, yep, good. Okay, now lean into your left arm. Not as fun. Hold the leg in half further. Roll the shoulder back. Good. Now keep your right foot planted. Spin to 
into outer foot, but keep it kind of pushing into the mat. Don't let your foot go back. And then drop the knee open with your foot actively kind of pushing the mat forward a little bit. Yeah, you feel that? Left shoulder peels back. Right foot anchors a little. Suck your belly back. Right arm pushes to straighter to get that shoulder up and over one. That's how we do. So twice for sure. Get bring it in. Switch. Lean into your right arm. Roll the right shoulder back, reach that left knee away from you. Left arm straightens to push you up and over. See if you can heel tilt your right foot a little right. And then reach your right hip forward like you're letting the pelvic bowl come up. Then reach the knee across toward the left. We're still pulling back. Good. And bring it back. Last one. Go ahead and lean into the left. Drop that right knee open. Roll the left shoulder back. Push through your right hand. Good, you feel this? Nothing's dying. Left shoulders roll back, right shoulders a little forward. And bring it up. You can leave the knee out actually and just go the other way with upper body. Take your upper body across to the right, leave the right knee dropped open, reach the left knee away. And come back to the middle. You need to take that foot out of it. You may have to come forward and then take the foot up. And switch. Almost done with your work, and then we're gonna lay down. Push those. All right, right foot back. Good, hands to your blocks. You can do this on the ground too, okay? If your foot's not gonna like it, put your left hand on the floor for a minute. Either straighten this out or whatever and roll the heel out. And then roll it back in. All right, so same thing we did on the other side. Push your heel out to get the ankle to the ground more. And then roll it back in. Push it up. Roll it back in. Get that foot. The right foot used to being on the ground. Okay, when you're ready, tent your left knee, hands to your blocks, right ankle is going to stay in the mat as much as possible. Roll your shoulder blades back. Think of them squeezing together. They kind of eject your ribs forward by making a little plate back there. Then push through arms, roll hips forward first. Now you should be almost standing on top of that left foot. Push down through that, push down through the top of the right foot. Keep pinching your shoulders together. Good. Pushing the ribs up by pinching your shoulders together. Push down through the right top of your foot. Squeeze your glutes. Get those hips up. Come on, more. Shoulders back. Lean back. There we go. Good. And bring it back down. Hips under. Good. How are we doing? Almost done. Yay. Good. Roll the right shoulder back. Really pull your right thumb into your block. Drop the left knee out to the left and suck your belly back. Now keep the left side of the foot anchoring into the mat and almost pushing it forward. You guys feel that? Left shoulder pushing forward. Good, bring it back up. Heel toe it out to the left a little. Okay, let your hips roll forward, especially if you're on a block. Let your singles fall off the front of your block. Then roll left shoulder back, reach left hip forward. Now it's almost like your foot's pulling the mat back to send the knee past the foot. Yep, then roll the shoulder the other way. Yeah, feel that opening? Bring it back up. Switch. Roll the right shoulder back, lean to the right. You can bring your left foot back in a little. And then drop the left knee out to the left. Keep that outer foot gripping the back. Three. And bring it back up. Good. Go ahead and take that foot out of it. Good job. Come down off your blocks. Move your blocks off the mat. Good, and we get to lay down. We're going to do one upper back bend over your purple ball. Put legs over bolster if you want to have that in place for your park pose. So get purple ball for your upper back, legs over bolster. And then put the purple ball under your shoulder blades, hips forward. All right, interlace your fingers behind your head. Make a little cradle for the head like you're pressing it forward softly. Pull your elbows open to feel shoulder blades come together. And you should feel that wall that the shoulder blades make behind the ribs is on the ball a little bit, just the bottom of the wall. Then drop the wall to the ball. Keep elbows open, keep head up with your hands. Let your hips release, they're not doing anything. Let your ribs come up out of the hips. Breathe. Letting the head and neck drop back toward the ground. We try to keep your shoulders together. 
together a little bit so ribs are up and open. Good. Now bring your elbows up toward the ceiling. Feel how that opens the wall. The shoulder blades spread off the back of the ribs. Then pull your shoulder blades down as if elbows were still open. Try to make that wall again and bring the head forward with your hands. It's your serratus bringing it forward. Use the uppermost abs. Do not tuck it toward you. I don't see any of this happening as you come forward. Good. Hands push the head forward. Chin into your sternum. Shoulders dropping down. Gravity helps them draw. Right? You would be opposing that if you're in your chest. Let that go. Okay, open your elbows, shoulder blades come together. Now feel your hips fighting to keep you forward. Don't. Just lay on your wall. Yeah, feel the difference? Keep the hips loose, keep the shoulders open. Drop back just until the head is parallel to the floor. Head and neck are parallel to the floor. Don't let the head drop to the floor yet. Let your hips release more. Let your ribs open more. And then lay back further. Good. Three. Okay, if the head doesn't touch the ground. Good. Now bring elbows up so you can see them without squeezing them in hard. Just so you can see them. Now pull your shoulders down the spine and down into the ball as if elbows were open. Almost feels like the shoulder blades come into a V in the back. Then pull your head up using that V as leverage. Just the upper abs pull into that. Keep pushing the head forward. Soft in the back. Once you're all the way up with hips still released, reach the elbows forward to separate shoulder blades. Good. Now hop your hips forward an inch. Good. Knees are going to open. Legs slide forward an inch. Shoulder blades come together and down into your ball as if elbows were open. Then slide them back forward. Elbows go forward and up. Shoulders come down. Yep. And then slide them back over. If you're having trouble finding this, bring your hands into a little yoga gun. Slide your shoulders back. Slide and forward. Grips don't move. Slide shoulders back. Pitch them together. And then forward. Last one. Slide shoulders back. Keep ribs pulled down. And then slide forward. Okay. Let's actually try this with your gut. Take your arms back behind your head. Let your ribs open as you lay back. Let your head drop all the way back. Breathe. Reach through the side body. Good. Now see if you can do this. Bring your arms up first. And if you feel anything in your low back, don't do it. And maybe use a little momentum. Arms up, head up. Use your ribs to pop up. Ribs, not low back. Good. Good. Very nice. All right. Bring your feet to your bolster. Push it forward a little. Legs back to bolster. Pull on your bolster with the legs. Roll your hips forward. Good. And then head back over the ball. Your neck. Uh, long over the ball. Your chin will end up up a little bit. The neck follows the contour of the ball. Reach the arms back. <clears throat> your shoulder blades are just enough on the ball that the weight of the arms back here opens your ribs up. Inhale. As you exhale, let the arms open out to the side. If you don't have a ball, you can use a big round pillow or something that's soft and round would be nice. Soft and roll. Bring the arms back, reach. And then hands to your head. Pull just that up. Let the ribs drop without tucking hips to you. And then hop hips forward one more time. Move your ball back to the ball just under your head. I want neck free. So the head is stuck to the ball, but you should be able to put your hands between your shoulders and the ball. From there, feet on the bolster, feet about as wide as you can get them on the bolster, and heels hanging off the back. Keep the bolster close to you though, as much as possible, still being able to get your heels to come off the back of it. So not up on top here. Heels have to be off the back so your arch is on the bolster. Bring your arms up, drop the shoulders down, reach back. <coughs> Excuse me. Bend elbows out to the side until your entire upper arm and shoulder blade can touch the mat. So I don't care if you're making a football field goal shape with your arms. And then think of squeezing shoulder blades together a little bit more. Okay. Now reach your right knee forward and across to your left ankle. And think of that right hip going forward. Yeah, feel that stretch in the hip. Push through the left foot to help bring the right hip back. 
switch. Keep your right knee up. Reach your left hip forward past your right hip. So your right knee stays pretty much above the hip. It can fall out a little. And your right hip almost shortens up to you as your left hip goes around it and half moves around it forward. Good, and then push your right foot, bring it back. Okay, let the right leg go across, reach through on it. Bring it back by pushing through left. Left hip across, hi Mary. Hi, see you. Okay, let's make this a little harder. Knees rest into each other. Little pressure in your feet, just a little bit of pressure. And pull your low belly to the ground until your low back touches. And then let that go. Pubic going forward, rock heavy on your tailbone. Your low back will come off the mat a little bit. Okay, go the other way. Don't squeeze your glutes at all. Little pressure in feet. That's just a pull from quad. Little pull from low belly to bring your low back down. Good, then let your hips drop forward. Your low back should come off the mat as your hips reach forward. You can push your belly to the ceiling. Then pull the belly to the floor, and automatically the low back should start dropping to the mat. And then push your belly to the ceiling. Back door open, sitting bones apart as hips drop forward. We get in that? Yeah? All right, here we go. Pull with low belly. Knees feel like they're reaching forward. Articulate up, bringing the hips off the ground. Now reach your arms back next to your ball. Get long from knees to arms. Okay, slowly slide the right knee down, the left shin, right leg coming toward that left ankle. Let your left hip drop and touch the floor. And then bring it right back up into the air. Switch, slide left knee down, right shin. Let the right hip touch the floor. Reach the left arm back. Bring it back up into the air. Slide right hip down the left. Reach that right arm away. More, more, more. Bring it back up. Left slides down the right, let the right glute touch the ground, right hip release, reach the left arm back, and bring it back up. Slowly roll down, both arms reach back, suck the belly down to bring your low back to the mat, then let your hips drop all the way forward. Good, how are we doing? Good. Feels good, right? Great. All right, bring your feet to bolster, pull bolster the hips. Use the serratus to drag the arms back up. Good, pick your hips up, put them on the bolster. I don't want to see this happen because then I know you're squeezing the glutes. Okay, bolster is low enough so that your pelvic bowl is aimed back and down. Push into the ball with your head, push into the ground with your elbows. Pick your ribs up, pop them back a little. Ribs up, ribs, ribs, hop the ribs back a little on the back. Good, okay, and you can push the ball back a little further. You should feel real long in your lumbar spine. Pull the knees in one at a time. Okay, soles of the feet come together. Arms are inside your legs with knees open, and you're going to try for a kind of a supta and the hands come around the feet, interlace your fingers, try not to cover the toes, try to be down here near the heels and the ankles. And then don't think pull a little hard with the hands. Instead, think of your shoulder blades trying to slide together. Maybe the ball's too close, the ball can go further. Shoulder blades trying to slide together behind your ribs. That little pull is what puts the weight of your hands into the feet. You're not pulling with biceps. All right, feel that? At the same time, think of opening your knees, using the muscle, little muscle in the outer hip. Not a major pull, but pull knees open as shoulders come together. And softly push your neck back, chin down. And pull your low belly out of the hips as your ribs open up. All right, feel that space you're starting to make. Now use your hands, put your elbows on top of your shins. Use your hands and elbows to take your legs and hips to the left. Open your left knee further out to the left using that medial glute a little bit. Neck back, belly back. Switch, use your hands and elbows to take it over to the right. Try to get the right knee toward the mat. Open the right knee out to the right. Switch, use your hands and elbows. See how that opens the back of the hip a little bit? Open the left knee out to the left. Push neck back, shoulder back. Switch, use your hands and elbows. Open it out to the right. Open that right knee. And back to center. Good. Unlock your fingers. Hold your outer feet. Pull them apart. Your feet should be right above the knees with your lower legs pulling straight down, or your hands pulling straight down so your lower leg helps drive the knee down into the mat. Good. See if you can rock the right knee more to the mat, pulling down with your right hand and elbow. 
and try to pull your left knee more down to the mat. Good, you'll rock the hips a little back and forth as you do this. Your knees don't have to touch the mat. The higher they are, the further room you'll have to rock. Keep your shoulders generally together behind the ribs now, not shrugging to your so. Okay, good. Now keep your left leg there. Let your right foot come to the mat. Try to touch the mat with that right leg. Drop your right shoulder down into the mat and then back. Now keep your left knee pulled down into the mat with your left hand. Slide your right leg forward. Reach your right arm back. Then open your left leg out to the left as much as you want to to counter that. And really feel the opening in both directions across the hips. There's a horizontal, a horizontal and a vertical opening. Really reach the leg forward. Push your neck back into the ball. Pull shoulder blades together behind the ribs as an anchor and reach that right leg forward. Feel that stretch in the front of the hip. Yes, yes. <laughs> Bring it back and good. Hand comes to the foot, elbows on top of the knee, hand is to the outer foot, trying to pull that knee down. Let go of your left foot, bring your foot to the mat. Left arm is up, let the shoulder drop, and let the arm drop back. Slide your left foot forward. You'll feel your right foot start pushing up into that right hand as you do. Keep the left arm reaching back, left leg reaching forward. Drop your right leg as far up to the right as you can. Shoulder blades try to slide together a little bit behind the upper ribs. Neck is a little back and the left leg is reaching forward. Three. See if that shape doesn't let you find a little more core, center core, apple core core. Inhale. Soften chest, let shoulders come together, ribs lift. Exhale, stay soft in your core as you start your exhale and pull shoulders together. Then reach leg away, then feel what happens in core. And bring it back. Good. You guys feel a little difference there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Bring the feet to the ground. Push your bolster down to the tip of your tailbone, actually, first. Good. And then hold the knees wide. Keep your knees up to armpits, rock to the left, let that left knee drop open and left. Keep your right elbow out to the right and your right knee outside your right ribs. And then bring it back. Keep your left knee open outside your left ribs and your foot should be inside your knee. Both feet should be kind of aimed at with knees out. And then let the right leg drop open to the right. You can even use your right back of your shoulder and so to pull that right leg open and let it drop forward a little. Keep your left knee open and out to the left. Keep your neck back, shoulder blades a little back to pull the belly wall out of the hips. Switch. Right knee stays out to the right, left leg drops out to the left, shoulder blades a little back, belly pulling out of the hip. Finding gaze at the middle of the forehead, inhaling long, 
and soften, let the gaze spread across the forehead, feel the muscles release, and let that wave of release run down your body. When you're done with that, just stay empty, stay soft, and then reinitiate easy, normal breath. We'll be here for about two minutes.
then bring your hands up in the, the prayer, in the middle of the forehead or the third eyelid. Bow your head in, let the spine release one last time. Seal in your practice. And thank you for coming. How are we doing? Thank you. Thanks for having us. Good job. Hi. Very good. Questions? Comments? That was hard. <laughs>